Let's go over to the next verse of Scripture in Matthew 7, verse 6. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast pearls before swine, lest they trample them under your feet, and turn and tear you, you in pieces. Well, this is very graphic. And what is holy things? Anything that is holy. Even your testimony. Even your prophecy tape. Even your knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. Those are holy things. Have you ever tried to witness to somebody that was not ready to receive? What happened? They turned on you. Every demon in, that was in them jumped all over you. You've got to be wise in winning souls, people. You've got to know the timing. You've got to know when it is ripe for the picking. You don't go into an orchard and start pulling all the green fruit because when you eat it, it'll be bitter. You have to wait until it's turned, until it's ready, the right time. And that is well, so important. Look at John 4 and 48. Then Jesus said to him, Unless the people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come down here, come down before my child dies. So Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants, servants met him and told him, saying, Your son lives. First of all, what's so amazing here is that all Jesus had to say is, Your son lives. That was it. Did you see Jesus going to a prayer? Did you see Jesus straining himself to believe for that boy's healing? No, he knew. Because God the Father said, tell him. Because Jesus said, I do not speak by my own authority. I do not see, I do not do the things on my own. But I do that only what I see the Father do. Through visions, through dreams. Now when Jesus tells us, tell that person he lives. All these things begin to happen in our mind. And we start struggling with it. That's where the battleground really is, is in our soul. When we're winning souls, we're winning minds. Winning spirits is God's business. And there's a big difference. But whenever we are being used by God, we have that conflict, that warring of the flesh and the spirit. Our way, his way. Whether we're going to be exposed, you know, God is no respecter of persons. He doesn't care about your reputation. He doesn't care, you know, if you're going to lose some customers in the process. That doesn't matter to him. And it shouldn't matter to us. There's only one thing that should matter. Because I have found, not only through my own life, but through the life of many others, that when you totally surrender to Christ, and when he even puts you in a situation that looks like you were going to be made a fool, God used it to give you the notoriety that far exceeded anything that you could ever bought in advertising or anything else. In fact, there's been times that I have been persecuted. And now I kind of look forward to it. Because every time I have come under persecution and I hold my cool, I don't lose it, don't try to defend myself, God always turns it into a big blessing. 